Is investing different at different ages? Absolutely. So what I want you to do is just think about the bell curve. It starts out here and it goes up to the top and then it goes back down. So when you're starting out in your younger years, hopefully, is you're, you have a lot of time because you're spending these years growing as you're working towards retirement. And let's think of the top of that bell curve. Let's just say it's 65, a typical retirement age. And then you get to enjoy the downside of the slope when you're in your retirement. So when you're younger, you have a long time horizon, you're working, and the money that you're putting away is just going into that 401k, that IRA, that insurance policy, that savings account, whatever you're using to save, that's just where it's going. And so you can, you can avoid um, having to take the money out because you know the market's gonna go up and down and up and down and up and down. So when you're 20 and the market goes up and then comes back down, you don't have to worry about it because you're gonna be working for like another 30 years. So you can just let your money sit there and work for you. Here's a key thing too, is historically, every time the market has a big drop, within six to 18 months, the market will come back up. And so a lot of people get in trouble because when the market goes down, they can't take it anymore eee! and they pull their money out and then they miss the recovery. So it's like they get hit twice. So when you're younger, if you can stick with just that buy and hold strategy, that'll work for you because time is your friend. It gets a little more complicated when you're nearing the top of that bell curve because now you've made your money, right? You're getting close to retirement and you don't wanna have a 2001 or 2008 where you lose 40% of your money. It's just not where you wanna do it. So when you get closer to retirement, you wanna start thinking about downside protection or getting a balance between your funds because you just don't have time to recover the way you did when you're in your 20s. And so what happens, what I see a lot is I see a lot of people that come see me when they're about 60 and they're thinking about retiring and they still have their 401k plans at work in these aggressive growth strategies and they don't have any protection even though they're getting ready to be to that point where they're going to want to start pulling that money out and spending it. So like all things, situations vary and it's very people dependent. But what you're doing in your 20s at the bottom of the bell curve is very different than what you want to be thinking about and the questions you want to be asking as you get to the top of that bell curve and you want to start spending that money. So call me 719-210-4242 to find out more.